Is it true that Order of the Arrow youth don't age out until they're 21? What? Hey, Scottish Dan. Let's talk about that. That is a huge thing. A lot of people think that if you're 18, you're done. So that's not necessarily true. Now the Order of the Arrow, which is the Honor Society of Scouting, um, they go by different guidelines. Their guideline quite plainly says that youth members are under 21. Okay, so that is their criteria. Now they base that on where the scout is registered. If you are over 18 years of age, you cannot register as a youth in Scouts BSA in a troop. That is, that is for youth. And because of that, if that's your only registration, anything else to do with the Order of the Arrow would be done on the adult level. Now, I can already hear a lot of OA people out there going, oh! That's because they haven't looked at the differences in membership. The differences in the membership has to do when they get dual registration, which is totally fine. In fact, we encourage it for older scouts to keep them involved. So if they're in a scouts BSA troop, they can also join a venture crew or they could join Sea Scouts, or they could get into an Explorer post. There's lots of different opportunities beyond 18. Now this is where it changes. If your membership is with Scouts BSA, 18 is the dividing line. Anything under 18 is considered youth. Anything above that is considered adult. Whereas crew, ship, and posts, they have a dividing line at 21. So when you become 21 years of age, you're considered an adult. Everything prior to that, you're considered a youth. That's the beautiful thing. It's a gray area of three years. <laughs> That's really what it is. It depends on how you're registered. Now, many places throughout the United States you will have dual or even triple registration. One person can be registered with multiple types of scouting. They could be in a pack and a troop. They could be in a pack, troop, and a crew. <laughs> it's, it's, I recommend not to go too far, okay? Three would be my max, but it's possible, and those rules apply. So that is, so when they say that you can stay in the OA until you're 21, that's not necessarily true, okay? So it's, it's conditional. It is true that you can, you can do things as a youth versus as an adult. Uh, adults have their own things in the order they are. They have their own stuff that they have to do. But as a youth, you get to do all kinds of stuff. A youth member can actually uh, run an election. They can g campaign and, and actually run for office within the lodge or the chapter. The youth are the only voting members. That is big. Okay, They do the voting. Okay, So if they want to do something as a, as a chapter or as a lodge, it's a vote of the youth. And that age thing comes into play. Now, as a youth, they can also be involved in different committees as a youth member. So, in the Order of the Arrow. So, there's a lot of benefits to this youth membership, okay? So, make sure that if you're 18 and you're, you're going towards this, you want to keep active, you may want to look into joining a venture crew or Sea Scouts, or a <laughs> Explorer Post. There's a lot of different opportunities out there, and that will extend your ability to do 
order of the arrow. Now, before we go any further, I do want to invite you to our monthly meeting. It's on the first Sunday of each month, and it's at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So you're more than welcome to join us and ask questions and, and just have fun. You know, that's one of those wonderful things about that meeting. I also want to thank everybody on Patreon for their continued support of our channel and our channel members. You can be a channel member. You hit the join button and join up. There's all kinds of badges and emojis and different things. They even get the videos uh, exclusively for themselves, ad-free, which is an added bonus. And then, of course, if you don't want to join in and do a monthly donation, you could always do a one-time donation by hitting the thanks button. So get involved. I really do appreciate all that you do in scouting and here on the channel. Now, there does seem to be a little confusion. It's not based on the year. It's based on the birth date. So the birth date is the dividing line. Your membership doesn't end. It just changes. It's, it's, that's the thing about the OA. If you become 21 and you're a member of a crew and, and, and you're doing stuff for the OA, it's that your youth membership ends. That's really what happens there. And you become an adult leader at that point. You're considered an advisor. So that's the, that's the thing continues on and it's based on your birthday it's not necessarily the birth year okay so keep that in mind um, so you you can't push it if you're born early in the year you can't push it so you know that's the, not, you gotta live by that scout oath and scout law so that's something to think about um, but it, you know, there's nothing wrong uh, with being an adult advisor in the OA. That is, it's a wonderful organization. And as far as I know, uh, you can stay as an adult um, pretty much the whole time <laughs> in the order of the era. So definitely look into it. Um, there's a lot of different facets there. So, but we do a lot for our scouts. We really try to make sure they understand that there's a lot of opportunity out there and we need to keep that going. And you do. And I, that's so wonderful. That is such a great gift to our country, to young people. Uh, this is huge. So keep up that good hard work. And uh, we are changing America. We are changing the world. Okay? So keep that in mind. And... Uh, it is a wonderful thing, scouting is. So uh, live by that scout oath and law. That is, that is the big message of scouting, right? So keep up the good work, and I will see you on the trail.